good morning all good morning sir good morning very good morning now in today's class we are going to discuss the topic called ic 741 op amp and its application the today's topic is ic 741 op amp and its features but ic 741 this is what the ic which we are going to use as a operational amplifier its pin diagram is this one totally this ic consists of eight pins for that we already had a discussion about this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total eight pins for that each pin has its own identity pin 1 is offset null pin pin 2 is inverting input pin 3 is non inverting input of the op amp pin 4 is negative power supply again from pin 5 has to start from bottom not from the top one started at the left side of notch this is notch u shape notch see here this is u shape notch from the u shape of the notch from that notch take lhs left hand side and pin number start 1 2 3 4 again from bottom only not from top after four from bottom right side five the fifth pin is offset null pin output offset null pin sixth pin is Where we will take the output in the op amp. That is sixth pin is access output pin. Seventh pin is positive power supply. And eighth pin is it has no identity. It has no specification. It has no role in this IC. But in order to standardize the seven four one IC, the seven four one IC should have eight pins. So, in order to standardize eight pins, we need this eight pin. Otherwise, it has no role in the IC specification. In IC, it has no role. Eight pin. That is no connection. It has no connection. So, this is the pin diagram of IC seven four one op amp. And if you observe the internal circuit of this pin diagram, then it seems to be like this. See here, pin two is the inverting input where we can apply the input. Inverting input. Pin three is non-inverting input. This is the pin three. That is non-inverting input. Generally, seven four as we know that seven four one op amp having two inputs. First input is inverting input. Second input is non-inverting input. inverting input can be denoted with negative symbol negative sign non inverting terminal can be represented with positive sign right so pin number 2 acts as inverting input pin number 3 acts as non inverting input where we can apply the input it's in to end pin three. whereas if you come to here pin 1 that is of that null pin this is pin 1 representation of that null pin and here see pin 4 is negative power supply see here pin 4 is the v minus negative power supply next pin 5 that is output of that null of that null pin so the representation is at this point here next pin 7 is positive power supply that is represented here with this symbol and pin 6 the sixth pin is the output pin where we can take the output that is output pin pin 6 here there is no representation of eighth pin we have went represented the eighth pin here the reason it has no role in 
IC implementation. This seven four one IC. So here we have not represented IC. See, if you observe this internal circuit, see here, pin one and pin five both are connected with rheostat. Rheostat are variable resistance. We can call it as or pot. Rheostat or variable resistance. Pin one, pin five, both are connected with a rheostat or variable resistance. And the pin which is indicating the arrow here, which is connected to fourth pin, which is connected to the fourth pin, negative to fourth pin. So the role of this variable resistance, or the role of this rheostat, is if you go on moving this pointer from left side to right side, or left side, right side to left side, then the offset voltage goes on changes. In order to vary the offset voltage at the input side and output side, just go on moving this pointer on the variable resistance, so that input output offset voltage goes on changes. If at all, if you want to make output offset voltage zero, so bring this pointer to complete RSS side of the this variable resistance, so that. To make the output offset voltage zero, where is this rheostat or variable resistance value? So here, what I want to say, the role of this rheostat or this variable resistance is only to change the input and off output offset voltages. Based on our requirement, we can adjust the value of offset voltage. To do that, we need this. So here it is connected in between pin one and pin five. So this is the internal circuit of this IC seven four one op amp, right? Let us see the features of IC seven four one. We already had a discussion on this thing, even though. Now let us see the different features or different specifications of IC seven four one, right? Keep reading as specification or features of IC seven four one. Right? This is pin diagram and this is circuit diagram. Now features. Features are specification. The first feature of IC seven four one is supply voltage range. The supply voltage range of IC seven four one is is equals to plus or minus five volts to twenty plus or minus twenty two volts. The first feature of IC seven four one op amp is plus or minus. Plus four minus five volt to plus or minus twenty two volts. Next, internal power dissipation. Second feature is internal power dissipation. Internal power dissipation is fifty milliwatts. Internal power dissipation of IC seven four one is around fifty milliwatts, and the third feature is differential input voltage. Differential input voltage. Which is equal to eighty volts. Next input voltage. The fourth feature is input voltage, which is equals plus or minus thirteen volts. Plus or minus thirteen volts. Next, operating temperature of IC seven four one is operating temperature.
is 0 degree centigrade to 70 degree centigrade. 0 to 70 degree centigrade. We can operate the IC741 op amp in the range of 0 degree centigrade temperature to up to 70 degree temperature maximum. 70 degrees centigrade. Next, the sixth specification here is the stored temperature range. The storage temperature range is about 0 to or minus 65 degrees centigrade to here it is around plus or minus 150 degrees centigrade. Minus 65 degrees centigrade to plus or minus 50, 150 degrees centigrade temperature. In that operating temperature range, in that temperature range, we can store this IC. Beyond that, we cannot store because it won't work. Next, load temperature or off input offset voltage. Input offset voltage. Is equal to 6 millivolts. The input offset voltage of IC741 op amp is equal to 6 millivolts. And the input offset current is 20 nano amperes. Input offset current is 20 nano amperes. 20 nano amperes. Next. Input impedance or input resistance Ri is equals how much it is around max wave. Always 741 IC op amp having larger input resistance and smaller output resistance. Do remember. It is around 2 mega ohms and output resistance is equals it is around 75 ohms. See, observe the value here. Input impedance is in terms of mega ohms. Output resistance is in terms of ohms. This is 2 mega ohms and here it is just 75 ohms. Just 75 ohms and it is 2 mega ohms. Means I say 741 op amp is always having high input resistance and low output resistance. And the next one is CMRR, common mode rejection ratio, CMRR of IC741 op amp is equal to 90 dB, which is equal to 90 decibels, CMRR value. And the input capacitance, the input capacitance C suffix I is equal to 1.4 picofarads. Sir, manak capacitor record rather than the surrender, it comes in the next unit or next topic. So, input capacitance of IC741 op amp is having the fixed value of 1.4 picofarad. Right? So, these are the features of these are the features of IC741 op amp. These are total having 11 features. First one is supply voltage, the range is plus or minus 5 volts to plus or minus 22 volts and input internal power dissipation of IC741 op amp is 50 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts and the differential input voltage of IC741 op amp is 80 volts. The input voltage which we apply is around plus or minus 13 volts peak to peak and next Operating temperature range of IC741 op amp is 0 degree centigrade to 70 degree centigrade temperature. So we can operate in between that temperature. Beyond that, it is not possible for us to operate the IC above 70 degree centigrade because if you operate it above 70 degree centigrade, the IC741 op amp will not work as IC741. That next storage temperature so that the 741 IC 
of a we can preserve it in the range of temperature minus 65 degrees centigrade to plus 150 degrees centigrade next the input offset voltage offset input voltage of ic741 op amp is around 6 millivolts and offset current is 20 nano amperes input resistance is in terms of mega ohms that is 2 mega ohms output resistance here is just in terms of ohms that is 75 ohms next common rejection ratio cmr common mode rejection ratio is 90 decibels 90 decibels and input capacitance ci value is around 1.4 picofarad right so these are the features of ic741 op amp right please copy this please note down so this is what the all about the first unit please make it make it copy so that we will go for the next unit turn on the video absent this yes sir 